me introduce to the stage a People's Award winner from last year, Vic Pestulia. He is leading the Dream Project uh, in Ukraine. He's working closely with the government, business, and civil society to make sure UK's, Ukraine's reconstruction is a role model of open government and open transparency. Victor, over to you. Thank you. Voting is important. And last year, Dream Project was honored to win the People's Award. And we worked hard to justify your trust and deliver on our promises. And we have lots of things to share. But unfortunately, Russian war is not over. We are far away from our victory. And while planning our transparent, accountable, and inclusive reconstruction, Russians learned how to avoid sanctions to produce long-range missiles. They continue to destroy our civilian infrastructure. Right after last year's summit, Russians conducted yet another act of ecocide. They blew up the Hovka Dam, flooding hundreds of villages and cities, destroying home and nature. Today, they continue to destroy our energy-generating facilities, and even now, all over Ukraine, we have blackouts. Despite the positive decision to provide Ukraine with F-16 fighter jets and air defense, we don't have enough. And Russia continues to destroy our infrastructure. They are launching thousands of gliding bombs targeting people and our houses. Today, more than two million Ukrainians left without home. Physically, they were destroyed by Russians. Yes, the democratic world is united, but not decisive enough to ensure our victory. We will stand with Ukraine as long as it takes. But how many lives and destinies will it take? This has been challenging times for Ukraine. But you recognized an essential truth then. Russia is trying to erase Ukrainian identity and make our country unlivable. You recognize that every act of recovery and reconstruction is an act of defiance. Restoration of Ukraine is about resilience. We now work to sustain Ukrainian economy, to sustain the will to fight and win the war. Like Prosser, small cafe in Kherson that became a point of invisibility for local citizens, for journalists and volunteers, where they can power up their phone and warm up with coffee. Every day, Ukrainians go to work, open new enterprises, and continue to work even after Russians missile attack. We have thousands of cases like this, but we also have much larger projects, like 150 kilometers of water pipeline that was constructed amazingly fast to ensure access to clear drinking water to 2 million people. We have to be fast. If your school is destroyed, do you build a new one? Or do you buy buses to bring children to a neighboring school that was not yet damaged? Or do you literally transfer an education process to an underground metro station like Kharkiv City does? We have to make thousands of decisions like that to keep Ukrainian economy functioning for its citizens. And we have to make it fast. And Ukraine is doing well on this road. One piece of transparent reconstruction puzzle is e-recovery program. Imagine every Ukrainian who lost their homes can now submit and request using mobile phone, government, and smartphone application TIA. And through a set of registries, it's automatically verified, and Ukrainians receive a certificate to buy a new house or pay for repairs. Through a set of digital controls, we can be sure that money are spent properly supporting Ukrainians in needs and Ukrainian businesses. In less than a year, this program helped to support 60,000 Ukrainians, and now they are back to their homes. What important, it was very fast. 
We have to find radically new approaches to be resilient and prepare for a post-war reconstruction. Transparent fixation of damages and needs, development of strategies, preparation of projects, prioritization, funding allocation, procurement, construction progress with quality assurance, and tracking of every payment. Most of these components are already integrated in DREAM. Today, more than 70% of local communities in Ukraine are already registered in DREAM. Altogether, they submitted more than 4,000 reconstruction projects worth more than 4 billion euros. More than 1 billion euros is already covered, and thanks to DREAM, we can track the whole cycle from problem statement to commissioning in an open and transparent way. DREAM covers all sectors housing, utilities, transport, healthcare. But let me stop on education so you better understand how DREAM works today. Ministry of Education set a goal to ensure access to safe and high quality education to all children. Unfortunately, today in Ukraine, it is only possible if a school has a proper shelter. Because there are dozens of air sirens every day, and hundreds of schools have already been destroyed by Russians. To make sure that children can have access to education, we have to ensure that every school has proper shelter that is suitable for education, that has underground classrooms, proper air ventilation, clear water, and all the equipment needed. So, Ministry of Education set up a funding program in DREAM, providing clear eligibility, qualification, and prioritization criteria that, by the way, were developed with help of artificial intelligence and volunteer technology, thanks to Alex Karp, who spoke last year at Democracy Summit. Once this program is set up, all users of DREAM, schools, communities, receive automatic notification and can submit their application for funding in a matter of several weeks, literally several weeks. We have one community that was able to submit funding application from train in less than 10 minutes. Ministry of Education receives all applications from local communities. DREAM checks them against prioritization and qualification criteria, speaking to more than 10 governmental registries and systems, and provides a clear list of prioritized schools to the Ministry of Education so they can help to make better and smarter decisions to allocate limited resources and make most cost-efficient decisions. So once it's done, we can track implementation with DREAM. DREAM integrates all procurement processes that are needed to implement this project. It integrates construction progress and every payment made. And with the help of open data and business intelligence, Everyone in the world can track what's happening with a particular school, hospital, house, bridge, or any other infrastructure facility. Using business intelligence, you can conduct monitoring, you can conduct research, risk management, in order to improve decision-making and efficiency of implementation. Today, there are lots of projects that are funded by international partners in Dream System. U.S., European Union, Germany, Lithuania, Estonia, Denmark, of course, but also other international financial institutions. We provide access to data and information, but also a set of user-friendly tools for project selection and monitoring of implementation. So every taxpayer, including yourself, can track how every crown, pound, hryvnia, dollar, or euro spent for Ukrainian recovery. If we are able to support much faster decision-making using data, if we are able to enable local communities with genuine voice, we will be able to ensure our resilience and strengthen democracy even during these dark and challenging times. About a year ago, many people didn't believe that dream is possible. And unfortunately today, there are some people who believe that Ukrainian victory is impossible. But it always seems impossible 
until it's done. And we are proving it with Dream. So discover Dream, subscribe to Dream Updates, and help Ukraine to make our dream come true. First, win the war, and then win the peace. Glory to Ukraine, and glory to our German friend, Georgian friends who now face challenges. We'll tackle that together.